Welcome to another episode of Foreign Investor Australia. My name is Charleston, I'm a permanent resident in Australia. And I'm here to talk to you about investment, especially investing your super fund money in a wisely way, right? And today we're gonna talk about invest your super fund money into USA shares, United States of America shares. So I'm talking about stocks like Facebook, Google, Amazon, Apple. You can put your money towards those very big companies, very profitable companies, and it's a good strategy for your investment, right? So if you're watching this video means you have a super fun account, right? And congratulations because, because you are worried about how can I best invest my money in my super fun account. And we have talked talk in the previous videos how can you invest in shares as, as a strategy for your super fund investment. And let's do just a quick recap here. I'm going to leave the link here for the video where I'm going to talk about getting part of your super fund money and invest in shares and why that's a good strategy for you. If you check your super fund account right now, and the way it's going to be invested, it's basically using a default. When you open a super fund account in a common industry super fund like Australian super fund, CBUS, uh, Suncorp, any of those common super fund accounts, you usually get the default uh, investment option, which is other cash investment or one of their products which has uh, a very conservative way to invest your money and the average grow for your money you can check that in your account you can go to your statements for your account and basically the default investment it's going to grow if, if you're investing in cash probably you have a profit around two to three percent per annum if you're investing in a diversified diversified investment if you are lucky you can get around nine to ten percent per annum and many of those companies you can check your super fund options to investment they also have some different products where you can invest actually in Australian shares, but you don't know which shares they are investing. That's why uh, you can invest by yourself. You can choose which, which company you want to invest, but they have a package where they choose for you which Australian shares you can invest. And I can see over the years, average per annum, I would say 11% per annum. I have seen some, some of that. Uh, you can invest also in property, property investment, but you don't own the property. And that's, that's important here, guys. You don't own the shares when you invest in a product like uh, Auster, uh, Australia shares package from the super fund. You don't own the property. It's just an investment option where you can make some money based on their investments. And the average per annum is 8%, I would say. You can check in your super fund account. They do have this, this information here, which means let's do some accounts here. So if I have 100K in my super fund account and I have a growth, I'm investing cash 2 to 3% per year, means I'm going to get 3K per annum in that sort of investment. If I invest in a diversified, I'm going to get average 10K per annum. Australia shares 10K, 11K per annum. That's the sort of account you need to do in order to to do some calculation on how much money you're going to get from your investment. Now, in the previous videos, I talked about you buying your own shares, 
so let's do a quick quick recap here and a quick calculation so let's get one example share here and for this example here I'm using the company called ARB the four-wheel drive company I'm not giving you here the advice to buy any company I'm not the best person to give you advice I want you to do your own uh, selection for companies I'm just using an example here in a company that has has had a good grow and very profitable year in the past two or five years right so you can check the uh, Australian sh uh, share marketing ASX there is a company called ARB so basically what they they sell is uh, four-wheel drive products four-wheel drive products so it's basically products for your truck if you have a four-wheel drive vehicle you have a hobby and you like to customize your vehicle they have the products for this type of vehicles I'm going to do a specific video just exploring this specific company what they do and what are, are their, their business itself how they make prof, profit but today I'm just using this as an example so in the past years the average grow for this company shares were they came from 2019 from uh, average okay guys $18 per share and then jump 2020 to something like $38 dollars per share so that's a grow of twenty dollars average in one year right which means if I hold some shares let's see 50% of my investment here in my super fund account I'm not saying put your your money in one single company the idea is of course we're going to buy a portfolio of companies but this company alone here if I hold this company from uh, 18 to 38 is a is a grow here of more than a hundred percent I think actually it's not 38 I think there are 28 right now I'm just using it as a fictitious example here you don't need to worry about the numbers here just want to say the company can double almost double in price which means a hundred percent of increasing in their profit in their uh, share price or even 50% if you like in this case here so I'm just I just want to compare here if you have some shares in your portfolio you can have a, a, a grow in your assets from 50% compared to even if you get the best option here which is 11% per annum in this case here are going to have 50% per annum of course you have other companies in your portfolio not just this specific one you have like for example 10 companies 12 companies in your portfolio but it's still your average grow in your companies even some companies can go down and that that's important to keep in mind as well uh, if the company hasn't had a great year in terms of profitability the price is going to be down be prepared for that but average grow of your portfolio can be I don't know 20 to 30 percent I have friends of mine who had portfolios with 35 percent increase in, in price the share price so imagine 35 percent comparing to 11 percent in your default account is a much better right investment option so that's why you should be considering investing in shares in your portfolio okay very well so that was just a, a recap a very quick recap why should you consider going I'm not saying go all all your uh, balance in your portfolio but you can split for example 50% of your portfolio you can still use in one of those safe products here because they have a low um, a low uh, percentage of growth but you can still get 50% and start investing in shares in the share market and buying the, the assets by yourself and in that case you own the company you own the uh, ARB shares it's yours and I'm not talking here about the dividends 
just check the other video when I talk about the dividends, but you receive part of the profit, profit if the company has, has, has had a good year. Um, that's another benefit you can get. Now, today I'm gonna talk about how can I put this same money, I'm talking about ERB, how can I get companies like Facebook, Google, Amazon, Apple. So imagine that part of your super fund portfolio can invest in those companies. So first thing here, guys, we are talking about the normal super fund. I'm not talking about the self-managed super fund, just the normal, your normal account. Remember, we don't want to bring you complicated stuff here, just the simple stuff, simple ideas that you can start applying right now in your super fund account. So, so Charles, are you saying I can buy those companies directly from a super fund account? The short answer is no, right? There is no super fund account in Australia which provides you the feature to buy directly those companies in USA market. You can do that outside your super fund account. I'm going to show that in another video, but today, I'm just saying you cannot buy USA shares, share by share in your super fund account like you do with your Australian shares. However, there is another product called ETF. What's ETF? Exchange transaction funds. Imagine that like a transaction or trans transaction funds imagine the ETF as a package of shares right so we have ETFs for Australian shares and you can have an ETF for example just for banks so you put all banks like uh, Commonwealth Bank you get uh, HSBC Suncorp Bank all the big fours you know um, and then you put in a package saying ETF banks so instead of buying each share for each bank uh, separately, you can just buy the ETF and then you get exposure to all, all banks, right? So that's one strategy. I can have another ETF for mining, mining sector. So I have all the big companies for mining sector, like BHP and other, other guys. I can have one ETF uh, just for the top 100, ASX shares and we do have that like the most the market value the top 100 the top 10 we have ETFs for all that and today I want to talk about one specific ETF, uh, ETF from a company called Black Rocks and you can research this specific ETF this specific ETF is called IVV right so the IVV is the ETF a package ETF where you get exposure to the top 500 USA companies. And if you check the details for this IVV ETF, you want to see the top 10 companies. I have all that Facebook, Google, Amazon, Apple, and you have other guys like JP Morgan. Uh, who else is here? Johnson & Johnson. So you probably know those companies, right? Facebook, Google, Amazon, Apple. Those are famous companies, very profitable. Johnson & Johnson, they do you know all the products for your babies, for example, just taking that uh, the baby powder and then the products for babies say imagine they are selling those products around the world very profitable company gp morgan in the investment side of fence as well so all very profitable companies and you can check online just google ivv etf and you go and see the details for each company the top 10 companies and 30 percent of our investment in ivv 30 percent goes to those companies and Inside your super fund account, like in the 
past video, I'm going to leave the link to the video here. If you have an account with uh, Australian Super or CB, uh, CBUS Super, you have the option to do your own to buy shares, which is directing buying your shares. So you can buy Australian market shares. And in the list of companies you can buy, you can also buy ETFs. And you can just check there when you buy some ETFs, check for one called IVV. And you can buy one of those guys. I think the current price as we speak, as we are recording this video, the price per IVV ETF is around 330 per ETF, right? So you have to keep in mind that's the price per ETF and then you get exposure, you get this amount exposure to those, those companies. So these IVV is going to grow in price, right? As long as those companies cont continue doing good in the market, they continue, continue being profitable. So you can get exposure on that. And also the good things, this guy pays dividend. And I think as, as we speak, they are paying like uh, $1, almost $1, I think it's 8 cents per ETF you own, right? So if you own 100 ETF, and then you can get 80 bucks. <laughs> Imagine 80 bucks every, and then the thing is they're paying the dividends every six months, I think. Yeah, every six months they're paying the dividends. So that's another thing you can benefit from. So that's how you can get exposure from, to, from your super fund account to the US market, guys. Just check for this ETF here. It's called IVV. And this guy is going to give you the exposure to the US market. Go to your super fund account. If you have already opened the direct investment, check this guy in our list. Have a look at this guy. Of course, do your own research and just bring you here some ideas, like some very rough calculation here. And the idea of this channel here, I don't want to overcomplicate stuff. You don't need to open a self-managed super fund account. It's just using your super fund account as is. You already have that. It's just new ideas. So do a favor to yourself and check, check that. Make your own research. That's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this content, just leave your comment, leave your comments and, and questions about what sort of content you think is useful, is useful for you. If you need more information, if I need me to go deep in this information, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to bring some information for you. May the peace be with you. Namaste.